My journey into ministry was an interesting one. I think from a very young age, I had this feel, I wouldn't say a call, but a feel that that Christian leadership was something that um, I should sort of le lean towards. Um, and in grade 12, I was a faith captain at my, at my school, but I didn't ever want to be a pastor. No way. All they do is sit around and drink coffee all day and talk to people. What a waste of time. <laughs> and uh, now it's all I do. Um, and so, yeah, I just didn't want to do that. I really was sure about that. Um, but I had this moment where I was in my current uni degree and there was a change I felt that I needed to do. I was, I was doing fine, I was passing everything, but I felt like it wasn't quite right. So I ended up meeting up with my young adult pastor, um, ironically over coffee, and, uh, <laughs> and I said, hey mate, like, I need some help, I need some wisdom, I need some discernment. Looking back, it was definitely like a discerning time, I think, for me. And I just asked, like, do you see any call towards ministry over my life? And he didn't say yes. And he didn't say no. He just said, um, why don't you come along to an open night at Malian? That was it. And so the next week, there happened to be an open night. So I rocked up and pretty well, as soon as I walked through the doors of Malian, I felt like it was right. I felt like I should be here and I should be there. And, um, and so then I, I signed up to do a Bachelor of Ministry after that open night. Um, but, but when I was there, and, and really for the first year and a half of that, of that degree, I still didn't want to be a pastor. <laughs> I still did not want to pursue that sort of ministry. I thought it was going to be maybe mission work or overseas or, yeah, something different than, than pastoral ministry. But then, yeah, things sort of changed. Yeah.